Now, in analysing the data collected from your study, from a uh, consensus research study, or in this case, a Delphi study, the one you're doing as part of your um, research, there are a range of statistical techniques that can be applied. Now, with the All Our Ideas tool, it applies a lot of these techniques and derives a ranking for you. Uh, there is some complex mathematics behind that, but we're not going to get into those aspects. You do need to be aware, though, of the basic terminology used in statistical research. Things such as standard deviation, um, sample variation, uh, medians and means, and interquartile deviations. These are the standard um, quantitative terminologies that you'll find in any research paper that has applied statistical techniques. So while you may not end up using statistics yourself in terms of a quantitative study or a qualitative study that utilizes statistical uh, processes, you do need to be aware of this terminology because you're going to come across it a lot in reading um, research papers. So I provided a link to um, the Khan Academy's uh, basic statistics um, refresher. And if you're uncertain of any of those terms, there's some very short videos and little activities that you can use to understand the basics of these concepts. So have a look at those. Um, one technique I do want you to be aware of in the context of um, consensus research is Kendall's W ranking. Now, this is a ranking that's achieved between participants. So if you've got five participants and they rank um, a list of possibilities uh, from one to five, you need to then have a measure of working out the consensus of those different rankings. Now, in our case, with all our ideas, the system does that for us. But if you just had your participants rank your list of ideas and have that as a, as a ranked list, you would then need to apply a technique such as Kendall's to determine whether or not there has been agreement achieved through that process. And it will give a ranking between zero and one, um, where one is perfect consensus. Everyone had exactly the same five in the same order, through to zero, where it was completely randomized and no one had um, anything in relation to anyone else's. But normally there'd be something in between. And Kendall's um, W rating can give a way of measuring that and reporting on that. Now, there can be some problems if you, your participants, achieve agreement too quickly. Now, sometimes this might mean that the field is too immature and there's really only one perspective that everyone is agreeing on. There hasn't been time for lots of different ideas to come out and for people to look at the question from different perspectives. It might also be that your, how you've phrased your question is leading them towards one perspective. Um, and it also might just be that your participants all have the same viewpoint and you need to either broaden your participant pool or change your participants so that they have a variety of different perspectives and can have some uh, consensus building. If there's already a consensus achieved before you start, then the consensus research process is not really needed. So these are some of the statistical techniques that we're going to be having a look at and discussing in more detail in the tutorial.